And after more than half the district's bus drivers called out sick, Superintendent Dr. Cito Narcisse addressed this and other issues this afternoon in a news conference. NBC Local 33's Anna Conejo is live in studio. Anna, this is the big story of the day. Yes, Renee, after half of the district's bus drivers were a no-show today, Superintendent Dr. Cito Narcisse has a message for them as well as parents who are concerned about this problem. We've been up all day, all night trying to problem solve. Superintendent Dr. Cito Narcisse is trying to keep another protest from happening again. We're going to get this fixed, uh, but my acts to the community is some grace on trying to get it fixed. 196 bus drivers called out sick Friday in East Baton Rouge Parish, claiming they're being treated unfairly with a low salary and made transportation issues, causing schools to delay their start time and release students early. Way that is meaningful. During Thursday's night school board meeting, a tense exchange. Give us more. Give us what we deserve. Because if not, I'm going to be gone. Then members voted anonymously to give school bus drivers a $9,500 stipend. Just because you throw money at the problem doesn't mean it's going to get fixed, right? We sure. still have, we have 161 vacancies. We still have buses that we're breaking down, you know, we're going to make sure that people are going to be taken care of, but we have to do it in a thoughtful way. For bus drivers who feel unheard, CETO has a message for them. We have to do a better job to help them feel valued in our system. The, the problem that we've had is we've had to be responsive and we haven't been as proactive with the plan and that's why we need to be much more proactive. He also says parents can expect to get updates in regards to school delays. We're gonna make the shift that we'll send an all out robocall um, and also start to try to make sure there's another process to communicate. On Monday, CETO will speak to bus drivers during an emergency meeting and hopes to put them more at ease. We believe that by uh, you know, Monday and Tuesday, we think it should level off. Now, NRC says that most likely parents can expect a regular start time for students and a dismissal for high school students at 1.25 p.m. and elementary students at 3.25 p.m. Live in studio, Anna Canejo, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Anna, thank you. Now to continuing coverage, the